what's the difference between the bloodshed of African Americans who were beaten unconscious in Selma, Alabama, and the bloodshed by Irish citizens in Derry, Northern Ireland? Nothing. Nothing. Injustice looks the same, no matter what continent you're on. The power is in the forearms of metal bullets and billy clubs. It must have sounded like blindness. Bones, Bones breaking like government promises. Selma, Derry, a clear example that discrimination does not discriminate based upon your skin color or where you stay. It is merely based upon who will be the predator and who will be the prey. Who will have power and whose life will be at stake. It was a cloudy day in Derry. There was tension in the air in Selma. Unfulfilled desires remained to be achieved. Even though an ocean separated the people. Citizens, citizens just want, want to be treated like citizens. citizens. January 30th, 1972. A somber Sunday when Derry's freedom fight turned to bloodshed and last rites. March 7th, 1965. A march. And so, for the right of all to be silenced by clubs cracking bones and tear gas choking fools. The, the streets remember what happened that Sunday. Irish concrete and Alabama granite churn like, like the ferocity of the people. people. They walk side by side in the same streets, facing the same obstruction. What is the difference between Selma and Derry? Nothing. Justice looks the same. No matter what continent you're on. Discrimination does not discriminate. Based upon your skin color or where you stay. It is merely based upon who will be the predator and who is forced to be the prey. Little Rock Central High School National Historic Site interprets the heroic story of the Little Rock Nine, the struggle to maintain segregation, and the surging tide of the civil rights movement in places like Little Rock and Topeka, Selma, Alabama, and Derry, Ireland. We also invite you to create your own poetry projects, and not only use poetry as a vehicle to entertain people, but help people to understand about different cultures and create social change through the arts.